Welcome to this Amazon PPC tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up a PPC campaign uh, and especially a profitable PPC campaign. As you can see, we've did many campaigns in the past and we've been pretty aggressive with the campaigns because we try to rank several products. Um, but yeah, let's go straight into how you can set up and structure your PPC campaign. Uh, what I always do is I create a portfolio per product. So let's just name this portfolio a test product. So you at least have some overview um, of all your PPC campaigns, which is very important when you start out. Because yeah, if you especially if you have multiple ASINs or multiple SKUs, it's very important that you have like an overview uh, in your PPC dashboard to easily see which campaigns are profitable and which campaigns are not. So we've made a portfolio and let's start with creating our first PPC campaign. Amazon will give you three options. You will have a sponsored products option, a sponsored brands option and a sponsored display option. For this video, we're going to be focusing on the sponsored products sections section and that basically will mean that the, the sponsored products are like the spots that you will see on the search results. So right at the top, but you can also target on products, but I will show you more about it later. So sponsored products is the one we'll go for. For sponsored brands, you will also need like a, your own brand and sponsored display as well. So let's first dive into the sponsored products one. So with the ad group name, it's very important here that you again, name the product that you're setting up the campaign for, because this way you will have an overview for yourself. So um, product name, so product name, and this is a sponsored product. So SP and we will have an exact campaign, uh, more about it later. Uh, but the keywords we will be targeting are like exact keywords. Um, so right here in this overview, it's, bl it's blocked right now, but you can select your product you want to rank for, uh, or the, I mean the product you want to advertise for. So you just add the product, uh, onto, onto the right. And once it edits, we can edit, we can go further. Um, so what you can do here with targeting, you can do automatic targeting and manual targeting. Let's for this one, do automatic targeting first. Automatic targeting basically means that Amazon will start optimizing your, uh, or will, will start finding keywords that will match with your product. They will do that by analyzing your product title, check your product uh, keywords in the backend, check your product description. And based on that, they will start testing out multiple keywords to fit your product with. So starting out with the automatic targeting campaign can be very useful because you will have Amazon start searching for relevant keywords matching your product. So automatic targeting is a very good strategy to start off with if you have no idea which keywords fit with your product. So you can set a default bit. Um, Amazon automatically fills this in. Um, and I always like to do a little bit higher above the default bit just to overbid any competitors. Um, so just two cents higher, you can leave it as is. You can do a negative exact keyword. So basically tell Amazon to not target on any specific keywords, uh, which you can do is before, for example, if your product has some sort of keywords that people can, uh, can be confused with, you can list it in here. So this way, like you just know, like, like maybe some keywords will not match your product at all. So you can fill in your negative exact keywords in here. I'll just leave it empty for now just to have Amazon do the work here and uh, find our good keywords. Then also here you have negative product targeting, um, which basically means like with the automatic campaign, Amazon will also start putting your product on product listings. And what you can do here is insert products of competitors, insert their ASIN number, uh, to prevent Amazon from putting your advertisement on their page. So for example, you have a competitor that you can't win from, uh, then you can insert the competitor's ace in here and uh, you can insert it here. So let me quickly find an ace in and I can show you uh, Amazon, uh, for example, this one, one moment, I'm getting an ace in. So for example, you can say, Hey, I don't want to focus on this ASIN for advertising because I know 
I will lose against this competitor. So you can press exclude and it will not target this competitor. But since you're probably new to this, you have no idea yet uh, what competitors you have or what keywords you don't want to target. You don't have to fill anything in here. Then you have the bidding strategy. And here it's, it's very important to keep, uh, yeah, to, to, to be strict at this because Amazon can do the bidding per keyword. Um, and with Amazon, like, We've put in a keyword here of one euro and 65 cents or one dollar and 65 cents. And right now Amazon can do dynamic bids, which basically means they can up and down the bidding, which means they can go over your, the bid you've set before. And we want to avoid that because when Amazon is upping your bidding, you can probably, you will run out more quickly out of your, uh, campaign budget. So we've set $1.65 as our maximum bid and Amazon can only go down from here. This way you're certain of that you won't overspend within your budget. Uh, so we'll just go down only. And the good thing is when you do down only, Amazon will also try and find bids that can be lower than $1.65 to save you some, uh, some money and still get those views. Uh, for the campaign name, I always do it the same as the uh, ad group name. And from here, I do no end date because yeah, I just want to have the campaign running for a while to collect a lot of data. So for here, no end date. And the daily budget, like it's very important in the beginning um, that you have a budget set that actually Amazon can work with. Like if you only have five euros or $5 per day, the budget is very limited for Amazon to collect data and collecting data is the key thing you want to do in the beginning. So your daily budget, you want to at least have it over 20 or $30 or euros. Uh, so we do 25. So Amazon has the room to start experimenting and start placing your products on product pages or on like um, spots on the, the results page. So have a big enough budget and it doesn't mean that Amazon will spend everything out of, uh, out of your budget. Uh, but like if you only have five euros, Amazon has no room for it. So at least 25 or 20 euros or dollars will do fine. We don't want to launch any additional campaigns in other countries. We just want to focus on one country, um, basically because different countries have different keywords. And yeah, you can double check everything. And uh, once you're done, you can hit launch campaign. Amazon will now start showing your ad and basically it's now, yeah, finding keywords that will match with your product. And we have now set up an automatic targeting campaign. The key of this product of the, the key thing of this campaign here is after some days, you can check the campaign and you can find some targeting keywords that work well. And from there you can make a custom PPC campaign. Custom PPC campaign, I will show you this in the next video. I hope this video was useful to you. And if not, uh, you can leave your question below in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.